Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to 24 7 with me, Nasher Khan. This is the third part in the series profiling the roles of NGOs in local community development. We are standing in the middle of old Karachi and downtown Karachi, an area that most Karachiites only speed through because of the highly publicized image of it being violent and lawless. But behind me stand the Burhani Hospital as a beacon of hope and prosperity amongst the otherwise dilapidated infrastructure of the neighborhood. Standing next to me is Dr. Munir Ahmed. Hi, doctor. How are you? Hello, Moshe. Assalamualaikum. I'm Dr. Munir, Burhani Hospital Trust CEO and the Chief of Operations. He is the CEO of operations of the entire hospital, and hopefully he can give us a brief history of how old this infrastructure is and the projected growth pattern of the hospital. Moshe, this is a hundred years old. There's a small time dispensary to counter the influence of effect of 1913. That's right. When it, there was an epidemic in uh, Karachi, the whole Karachi was suffering. So some philanthropic uh, people came with the idea to uh, have a dispensary over here. Later it was upgraded to maternity home and in 1978 yeah. it was converted into full-fledged hospital of all multi-disciplinary uh, uh, medical science. Okay. So it has been operating for about 32 years as a full hospital? As a general hospital. And hopes to operate for many, many more years? Inshallah, in, uh, until uh, the world is there, and we we'll keep on uh, treating and uh, helping people, serving people. Inshallah. The doctor, with the aid of Dr. Munir Ahmed, we can hopefully take a tour around the hospital and see exactly what services this hospital provides and to the type of people it provides it to. So doctor, shall we go? Welcome, please. We are here at the ground floor of the uh, Burani Hospital, where we can see the entire outpatient department is dedicated to the ground floor. In the sense, ke, on our left is the emergency room, which operates 24 hours to any patients that need it. On our right is the pharmacy, which dispenses pharmaceutical drugs at the cost that the hospital purchases them. Okay? Then there is the reception. And as we move along further, there is the inpatient counter where all the people who are being uh, admitted for a longer period of time are checked in. Okay. On our left is the orthopedic OPD where all the orthopedic uh, consultations take place. And further along is the laboratory where all the blood work and all the phlebotomists uh, house themselves and do most of their work. As we move further along, you can see further along that there is an x-ray department. Hey, doctor? Yeah, yeah. there's an x-ray department on the left side. is laboratory, which can cater for all type of laboratory investigation, blood, urine, stool uh, samples, stools and all sort of uh, microbiology, hematology. It is a fully operational hospital with all sorts of facilities. Agibi, uh, approaching us is the X-ray department aforementioned. Where you can do all X-rays? We can do all X-rays. We have a machine that has a lot of IVPs, we do all IVPs, we do all IVPs, we do all IVPs, we do all IVPs, so as we walk along and pass the x-ray department, we are approaching the elevators. These are elevators for the patients? Yeah, these are elevators which link both the blocks, new and old block. I mean, uh, which is a linkage between a century. Currently, we are in the old block of the Burani Hospital. Saying that there is an old block implies that there is a new block. Abhi, we will further discuss the three-phase development, I believe, that Burani Hospital Trust has initiated. Exactly. Uh, Burani Hospital is managed by Burani Hospital Trust, which took over the management of uh, the hospital in 2005. Achha. They had a vision to create a facility which is at par with any modern hospital of the Karachi, or of Pakistan for that matter. And uh, uh, keeping that in mind, under the guidance of uh, Sayyidina Burhanuddin, we initiated the three-phase program. Uh, program uh, was three-phase. Uh, phase one is complete, and we have inaugurated four months ago. And I'll be showing you taking to the program. Perfect. Where we have shifted our inpatient departments. In phase two, we'll be developing uh, diagnostic and uh, uh, outpatient departments. Perfect. While in third phase, is a little um, ahead of our uh, projects, we'll be developing specialized medical units like cardiology, oncology, neurology, nephrology, etc. So for all the viewers out there, inpatient department means any patients that need to stay here for a prolonged period of time that need extensive medical attention and care. So as you can see, and we will further see that this hospital, despite being in the heart of old Karachi and you know having downtown in its uh, proximity, 
is comparable to any other leading hospital out there. Despite the location, it provides as qualitable a service as anything else. So, challenge, Dr. Saab, we shall take a look at the place. Perfect. We are standing outside of the phase one development, which we were about the three phase development. We are standing literally out of the completion of the phase one development, which, as the viewers can see, is a multi-story building where I believe your entire new facilities are housed. Exactly. Uh, Noshir, we are in passage, which leads us to uh, the phase one. Phase one consists of 91 inpatient um, beds, comprising all types of uh, general wards, private wards, semi-private wards, and uh, the labor rooms, the maternity ward, the paid wards, and ICU, with all allied facilities, and of course, three state-of-art surgical units, surgical operating uh, rooms, with all associated facilities like the sterilization and uh, the recovery rooms, the step downs and all those things. Okay, perfect. So as Dr. Munir here explained, it is a comprehensive facility that any local community members or any uh, uh, people in need, from whether they be from Karachi, Lahore, any economic or social strata can take advantage of. So Dr. Munir, shall we go upstairs and take a look?